Oh my gosh, I need coffee. I'd love to give you guys an official um, intro, but I am extremely late right now. I plan on giving you guys a tour of this room that I stayed in last night, which is a UFO room. But come to think of it, it really isn't that special on the inside. It looks cool on the outside. Here's um, basically where I slept last night. Absolutely crazy, so nuts. Um, I wanted for today to be a little bit more smoother, but hence the fact that I didn't get any sleep last night, that's not gonna happen. So we're just gonna roll with the punches, get out there on the ice, and hopefully crank on some fish with the limited amount of time that we have. Okay, onwards. I'm so pissed, I wish I would've really set aside more time to talk about this and do like a full review, but um, maybe this gives me an excuse to come back and uh, review some of the other rooms here in the Tree Hotel. Thank you Tree Hotel for the amazing memories. I will see you again. Farewell UFO. Thanks for the two hours of sleep. Okay, let's go catch some fish. No way, you actually caught one. Is that a char? No, that's a rainbow. rainbow. We have a rainbow and char over here. Oh, I bet that's good eating. Yeah, that's good eating. And we have to keep everyone since they're they're planted. So Hey, nice job, buddy. Cheers, man. Congrats. Let's see. Only a few more hours left here in Sweden. I'm going to try to spend them right. The bite must be somewhat on right now. Um, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to get rigged up and hopefully hook up to a fish. This is really exciting. This is sick. Kind of a crusty start on my part. My apologies, guys. But... Go on, partners! Come on, there. Oh, he's got one! Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's a nice one. Oh, I'm gonna oh, wet her. Buddy. I'm gonna wet her. Look at that. My first rainbow in many, many years. So as I'm doing my intro, you catch one. Way yeah. to go. Nice bud. So John arrives to the scene and I caught the first fish <laughs> within like two minutes. Beautiful rainbow. Wow. This is way too this is, good, man. <laughs> yeah, crazy stuff. I'm so glad you guys are catching them. This is this is incredible. <laughs> Like, this is crazy. Before I could even get my intro off, before I could even say, hey guys, welcome back. Sorry I made such a duster and woke up late this afternoon, or this morning, feels like afternoon. These guys are cranking rainbows. The main target and the goal for today is to try to hopefully cross paths with an Arctic char. A very epic, badass, beautiful fish. While it may not be native to where we're at right now, it is native just only a few hundred miles north in the mountains of uh, Sweden and Norway. But, uh, maybe, just maybe we'll hook into a char. That'd be very sick. I'd like to show you guys what, what a char looks like and, and uh, I like to catch one through the ice. There we go. There we go. That was aggressive. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh, yeah. it's, going, man. it's going got a nice rainbow here look at that guy oh look at that wow fat rainbow <laughs> what a fish yes absolutely gorgeous my first ever swedish rainbow I knocked off three species good yep check it out i've only been out here for just like 10 15 minutes and i've caught my first rainbow trout these are stalker trout so we are going to keep them they're going to be uh, food for later. I haven't had a hold of trout. Look at me. I'm like a complete doofus right now. That was an epic fight. It feels good to get like a really solid pull after two days of fishing for perch. Just a gorgeous fish. All right, buddy. I'd like to say we'd go back for the release, but <laughs> your dinner. That is quite a rewarding feeling. Not to say the fishing has been slow because in fact we've caught fish every single day. So there really is no reason to be like, like bummed out over the past few days of fishing. But I will say to get a fish that pulls to that strength and that amount is like it just gets my blood pumping. Like it doesn't feel cold anymore. Like I'm really, really stoked to get back down there and hopefully catch something bigger. That was actually a pretty sizable rainbow trout. Definitely my biggest of the ice. We're still in Northern Sweden and we're here at a pond, which is managed by these guys right here. You yourself can come here to Sweden to fish with them. Or if you live in Sweden, you can just take a, a short trip over here and catch Arctic char rainbow trout and brown trout. They are stocked in here. So if you have only a short amount of time, like myself, I only came here for three days and you wanna catch some big fish, this is the place to do it. I literally get on a plane in less than 24 hours and I'm cranking on rainbow trout through the ice in f***ing Sweden. What? Fish on! Yeah. Woo! Oh, there it goes. You got it, you got it. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, sh
The reel broke. The reel broke. Oh my god, this is a mess. The reel just like absolutely just gave up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah? No? Oh yeah, what is that? Yeah, it's a jar. Jar. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was crazy. This reel just literally broke on me. And out comes a char on the automatic rod. First Arctic char through the ice. That was probably the least graceful way to catch one of these guys, but it is a way. Got the job done. The reel just absolutely took a shit on me, but that's what they look like. Very pretty fish. Look at this like very distinct white speckles on them. Um, by the way, still, I don't know how to hold a trout, so don't know what the f I'm doing. Yeah, let me know in the comment section below. I'm not too worried about this guy rolling around in the snow. He is going to be uh, food, so. Wow, this is, this is just dandy. Hold on, let me. Look at that. Stop it. You calm down. You, you calm down right now. Okay, glad we got that taken care of. Here, let me dip him in the water. I got him by the tail. Get him out of the belly. Boom, there you go. Yes, we did it. Arctic char, baby. Woo! There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on now. <laughs> rainbow. Another rainbow. Beautiful fish. Gorgeous. Give him a kiss. <laughs> Swedish rainbows. Very sick. Thank you. Okay, good. Sorry? What kind of lake did you call this? A catch and put, put and take. Put and take lake. It's it's like basically a a stocked lake, meaning this is a put and take lake, as they call it here in Sweden. You do have to keep the fish. I really think trout are beautiful fish, and as much as I don't want to keep every single trout I catch, it's just how um, this lake works, which is totally fine. In the same notion, we're not gonna let these fish go to waste, so we are gonna cook them up. They're gonna be very delicious. I've never had Arctic char before. I've had rainbow trout, um, but never from Sweden, so this is, this is pretty new for me. Do we know how we're gonna cook them or no? Yeah, we're just gonna put them on the frying pan. Just whole? Yeah, a little bit of salt, and that's oh, good to yeah. go. Fish fan, then that's the right angle. Yeah, that's does a... not get much more fresh than this. Yeah, no. God, how are your hands right now? They're pretty cold, but holy sh you are taking them for the team, my friend. <laughs> it was like swimming in the water one hour ago. I know, right? Now it's gonna now go in our belly. Just gonna put it in some foil, put it in the fire, and eat it in 20 minutes or so. Yeah. Yep. I feel like a Viking right now. Oh, that was so good. Have you made it? Salt? It doesn't really matter if it's just oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Going in for an official taste test. That's like actually unreal. It's like some of the reddest, most fresh and healthy looking rainbow trout I've ever seen. And it came out of that body of water right there. Peace, baby. Yeah. Looks like there's no tomorrow on this food. Something to do with my knife. I can like confidently say this. I'm not just saying this because it was like a fresh fish and we're like here now super hungry and eating on the ice, but that was hands down the best rainbow trout. Arguably one of the best pieces of fish I've had if not ever in a long, long time. That was really, really good. It was cooked very simply. It's just the reason why it was so amazing is because it is fresh, it's straight out of the ice. I'm assuming there's a lot of oxygen in that water and it just makes that fish even more tasteful and, and super, super scrumptious. There we go, there we go. Fish on, little bite. I don't think it's a big one. I don't think it's a biggie, but it's a fish. It's a Swedish fish. Get up here. Get up the hole, buddy. Little rainbow guy. Quite the hairy mess. Tail grab? There we go. <laughs> Look at that. This is quite possibly the most fun I've had in wild ice fishing in a very long time. Just a gorgeous little frosty rainbow. <laughs> this is awesome, man. This is so awesome. Pretty, pretty fish. <sighs> Love it. This is the moment in which I conclude this um, this entire Swedish expedition. I'm just so fortunate this trip went well. I, I don't think that there are very many trips that 
uh, are comparable to this one. It's unique in its own way. It's funny though, because I was thinking about how this trip began and what it developed into. Um, one thing I, I thought was kind of funny and like consistent is in the beginning of this trip, I saw that like that big light up moose um, in the little town square of uh, Lulio. And at the end of the day, today, um, I saw a real moose. It's like when I first landed here, I saw a moose and then as I'm leaving, the moose reappears, but just in a different form. Along with thinking about some of the like funny consistencies and um, what I liked about this trip, I was also thinking about some of the regrets and some of the things I wish I would have done. I think a lot of my regrets are based off of things that not necessarily I, I did uh, incorrectly, but it's all the things that I didn't do. I wish I'd have done more. I wish I'd have stayed longer and I wish I'd have really kind of absorbed more in the moment. There were a few select moments in which I, I really realized I could have turned the camera on and, and done a better job, but it was also very tough with the cold weather. Like my camera is, is it's trashed. I don't know how I'm filming right now. I don't even know how it's working, but it is beyond smoked. Of course, the purpose of this trip was to film a video for you guys, film a little series for you guys at home. But I found myself really losing my sense of surroundings and where I was at and what I was doing and just like being dumbfounded at how beautiful this, this country is. And I think what made this trip so great is the people that I was around, this amazing atmosphere that I was constantly surrounded by. I mean, like there wasn't a single moment in which I felt like I couldn't turn around and take a picture and it looked amazing. And I really seemed to be like very comfortable around these people who I'd never met before, hearing their stories, learning about their styles of fishing and comparing it to what it's like back in the States. So from here, I think it's safe to say that I am closing out this series. It has been so much fun, you guys. Thank you for letting me bring you along. And and uh, I hope that I can continue to do more trips like this in the future. Let me know, please, where I should go next. Should I go to Norway? Should I go somewhere completely different? Should I get out of Europe? Should I go to Asia? I'm going to bed. It's 3.27 uh, a.m. in Sweden and I've got a flight bright and breezy in the morning. I just wanna say that I appreciate you guys watching this video. It means so much to me. Go out there and create yourself. Make something new, make something cool and be different. On that note, I am out of here. Thank you, Sweden. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you to everyone who made this trip possible. I will catch you later. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.